Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I've got something exciting. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox my Polychromos Faber-Castell beautiful 120 size pencil coloured set. Okay, so these are the ones that I've currently got. I've actually got way more than these. I've been using these pencils for absolute ages now. It's probably been about well over 10 years I've been using these coloured pencils. They're my absolute go-to pencil. I personally think that these are one of the best pencils in terms of coloured pencils that you can get uh, today. Um, there's probably only one other pencil that's a little bit higher in quality than this and that's the Caran Dash Luminance and hopefully maybe I might get that for me um, uh, birthday this year. You never know. So anyway, let's get back to the Polychromos. So I finally decided to get myself the uh, 120 set. It is quite expensive, so I was a bit reluctant to getting it. And with the artwork that I produce um, and the classes that I teach on coloured pencils, I've never really needed to get the 120. But I thought, Do you know what, with what's going on in the world right now with the coronavirus, everything is going on a down low, everything's really depressed, it's horrible, the situation. And I thought, Do you know what, I might as well just get them because I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get them again. So I thought let's just go ahead and get it. And yes, they arrived in the post. So I'm going to do a quick little unboxing and I'm going to test out the colours with a little illustration at the end. So let's just move these ones out of the way. These are my uh, ones that I've accumulated over the years. Again, I've probably got about 70 or 80 of these in my shelf. Oh, that was a bit loud. Um, <laughs> let's just get them out of the way and let's crack this box open. Okie doke. So bog standard box what I'll do is I'll just get rid of all these ties and let's turn this around and see what we've got over here so I'm going to cover that up because I don't want you to see what my address is so <laughs> let's just open this little tab here I'll show you here got a nice little tab right over there let's get that zoom back on Beautiful, so let's get this tab opened up. So let's see if we can zoom back a little bit on that one. Very good. So let's open this up. Oh, and we've got some nice bits of bubble, bubble wrap there. So what we can do is, oh, can you hear them bubbles pop? <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. Move my pencils, scissors, get that out of the way. Alrighty then, let's get that zoom back on again. Don't want to lose the focus, don't want to lose the zoom. So. The box itself, it's quite nice and uh, heavy. I mean, I've seen this box loads of times, especially when I go to the art store. Um, again, one of the great things about this uh, coloured pencil is that you can buy these in singles. So you can get them in various tin set sizes. I think they start from 12 or even 8 in some cases. I've always bought the 24s and 36s, uh, you know, in my time of doing art with the coloured pencils. And then I've just replenished by buying singles. So let's just have a look at this. Just make sure that zoom stays in focus. Wow. Check that out. Look at that. Gorgeous. Faber-Castell 120 Polychromos coloured pencils. Yes, they are. So I really like this box that they put them in, this nice little snug box. Uh, I think that's uh, that was a nice bonus. I mean, again, I'd expect them to have them in a nice box, especially for the price that you pay on these. They are rather expensive. So... Uh, Let's just get rid of that. So let's have a look at this. Oh, that light's getting in my way, isn't it? I'm sure it's getting in yours. Let's see if we can do something about that light. Let's get rid of that light, actually. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit better, that. Right. Okie doke. Let's get a zoom in. Nice little zoom in here. Fantastic. Right. Okay, so yeah, so here we go, 120. This is the biggest set that they do. Um, they also do a wooden box, like a luxurious wooden box, but again, that, that's a bit silly money, that is. I mean, already, this is, <laughs> this is silly money in, uh, you know, in, in common terms. But if you're, uh, if you're kind of like an artist like myself, an illustrator who uses materials like this, then it definitely is worth your while. Uh, however, I mean, like, like I said before, like you can get these in singles like this, you know, where you have a barcode on them, and that's what I've been doing over the last, what, 10 years I've just been you know replenishing on the ones that I uh, 
you know, that I, I needed, so I've only ever bought the ones that I needed, but I thought, do you know what, let's buy the full set and do a complete review of the full set, so just in case this is something that you might want to get, or if you follow me on my classes, my online classes on Skillshare, then maybe you might like to get one of these and follow the classes, I'll leave a link in the description below to that class where I go through all the ins and outs of these uh, particular pencils here, so it's in my coloured pencils class for beginners. So where I go through colours, blending techniques, layering techniques, mixed media, all sorts. So do check that out if it's something that you're interested in. And let's have a look at this tin. So on the side, nice and flush. On the back, we've got that beautiful colour range. So I think, let's have a look at it the right way up. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, right. So... This one over here, 120, so if this is the entire beautiful colour range that you have, 120 different colours, got some nice greys going on. I've actually got probably half of the greys already, uh, and I've got probably half of each kind of colour tone already, but again, this will give me a complete set, and then what I can do is I can just focus on using these colours, because what I want to do is I want to produce a piece of art that uses literally every single colour in this, just for, just for a bit of fun, for a laugh, uh, and I think I might do that. Uh, after I do this unboxing and do a quick little time lapse, so do stay tuned for that. So yeah, it's the standard stuff. Nice bits of details here. So we've got this plastic um, uh, kind of covering on this, kind of like a cellophane cov covering. It's like a bubble. It's like plastic wrap. That isn't it? I mean, can you see the ripple on that? Can you see that little ripple there? Very good. Right. So this is in a metal tin. Um, obviously it needs to be in a metal tin, it needs to be in, you know, substantial uh, material kind of like packaging, especially for the price that you pay, <laughs> keep going on about the price that you pay, I'm going to shut up about that now, you'll, you'll find out how much these are when you click on the link below, but to be fair, these have actually gone down in price, um, init initially they, they were I think over £200, but I think now they've gone, uh, they've gone down in price, and you know, the prices are always changing, uh, but yeah, I guess now is probably a good time to buy them, um, um, especially, you know, with the coronavirus and all this nonsense that's going on in the world. It's horrible time. Things are generally dropping price in terms of, like, in you know, items like this. So let's just do a little wipe on there. Very nice tin. You can see some of the residue of the, um, uh, the colours is, like, on there. Let's get that zoom back on. You can see there. Very nice tin. Absolutely beautiful. Hold it nice and firm. So let's just get this one opened up. Keep that in the middle. So it looks good. So let's open this up. Are we ready? Are we steady? And are we zoomed in? Yes, we are. Right. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. They're like little sweets, aren't they? Right. Okay. Let's just have a look at this. So we got some literature here. You get this standard in all the tins, even in the small ones. Uh, just get move that out of the way. You get this box standard booklet in literally every single tin that you buy. A little bit of blurb about the company, you know, about the pencils, a bit of the history of the company. Nice bit of colours, uh, you know, colour diagrams there. And then at the back you've got a full list of the uh, the colours, like a colour swatch and the names of all the colours. The great thing about these pencils are that it's, the well, the key thing for me anyway is it's that they're light fast. They're probably the, one of the most light fast pencils in the world, apparently. Uh, I've not tested every single pencil in the world, but generally speaking, these are usually the number one or the number two pencil uh, that most illustrators and artists use. Um... Uh, so yeah, so just look at that. Gorgeous colours. I mean, you, you know, you, you don't even want to use them. They look so good, right? Let's just have a look. So we've got the little tray, and on the sides you've got these little uh, stretchy kind of handles. Oh, do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of, like, these masks that everyone's wearing. Well, I've been wearing them as well. You've got them stretchy things that you put over your ears. Well, it was just uh, not a very good joke. Right, okay. So there's the purples and the reds. Let's just move these over here and just switch that to the top. Oh, and look at that. These are my type of colours, these. Look at them turquoises and greens. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So that's the second tray. Let's move that down. And then for the final tray, I think there's only three. Yep, yeah, there's three in here. So we've got some nice neutral earthy tones here. We've got some greys. And then we've got them special silver and uh, bronze ones. I've never really used them ones before, so I'm quite eager to see what they're like. Uh, so they're like the metallic ones. And that's it. And then that's all you get is a nice little empty tray. So uh, let's just slowly put these back. Uh, I tell you what will be good is if you can keep... Uh, 
uh, these colours in the exact same places. Uh, I don't think I can, but hey, I'll try. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. So, you know, you've got a bit of a, a nice bit of diagram over there with some writing. Get that back into the camera. Uh, finest artist quality made in Germany. Of course, they are great stuff made in Germany as usual. Solid, absolute solid brand. Um, and I think what I'll do now is I'll just uh, use these and come up with a nice little sketch and then colour them in. And then at the end, uh, have a few more words on what these are like. Again, if you want to learn how to use uh, these properly and, you know, follow a proper class uh, on these coloured pencils, then do click on the um, link below. It's a free to join class. Uh, you've got two months free on the course. So in that two months, you can, you, you know, literally watch uh, all of my courses as much as you want for free. And then you can sign off if you don't like it. Uh, but it's a great opportunity, especially in this time where everyone's stuck at home. I think it's an ideal opportunity to, you know, delve into some art and especially in the world of coloured pencils. So do check that link out in the description below. And I think let's start off with our little mini illustration. And I'm going to try using as many of these colours as I can. So I'll see you after that one. Okay, welcome back. So I've just done this little scribbly little <laughs> illustration and yep, I've used all 120 colours on this illustration. Are you going to ever use 120 colours in one uh, piece of artwork? Uh, I probably won't. This was just a little demonstration of what the colours were like on these actual pencils. I mean, I've done no blending, I've done no kind of layering or anything like that. I've just put the colour to paper. I just used this uh, sheet of bristleboard paper, which is probably not the, uh, the most ideal paper to use. Personally, in my classes when I teach, I, I can kind of, kind of go through the types of papers that work best with the, depending on the pencils that we're using. So just from a um, kind of putting the colour to paper uh, aspect, really nice vibrant colours. Um, I liked all of them. Do you need 120? Absolutely not. You just need, I would say you need probably around about 40 uh, or even, you know, 60 colours would be adequate. Uh, a good range of all the kind of tones and values and that'd be fine but having 120 is great just to kind of like you know have a little bit more option uh, when you're doing a proper illustration or drawing the only one thing that I would say that I didn't like about uh, this set is the metallic colors so it's these three over here that come in kind of the final tray so you got these three colors here these metallic colors is silver bronze silver gold and bronze so you can see on the 
on my drawing I, I did like is the that was the bronze color that was the silver color and uh, no, I'll get that in the camera and that was the gold color uh, absolute rubbish I've got to tell you these are absolutely rubbish they, they feel completely different the uh, when when it's actually when you're putting it onto paper and you're actually using them they feel very hard compared to the soft core of the uh, polychromo so I think that's um that's a bit of a shame that I was actually a bit excited about these uh, metallic colors because uh, I've never used these before in you know in all my years of using these um, this colored pencil I've never used metallic colors and a good job I didn't because I'll never use these again these are probably gonna stay exactly as they are so I don't recommend them but give them a try if you've got them in your set that's great I wouldn't go out and you know specially buy these pencils for these three metallic colors so they're an absolute no-no for me for the rest of them absolutely gorgeous beautiful I mean you can see that sometimes you know when you're using colors quite close to each other um, on, in terms of color value and hue you can't really see much of a difference but it's that minute detail that gives it that kind of gradient from one end to the other that I personally really enjoy doing and I'm going to be using a lot of these colors in my upcoming uh, illustrations rather than just use one or two of the same hues and values so that was it for this uh, quick little unboxing and little sketch of uh, polychromos faber castell 120 box sets so thanks so much for your time thanks for watching and again do check out my uh, full complete classes which will go into a lot of detail of how to use uh, these particular pencils um, and it's a complete series a colored pencil series i think we're currently on the second one where we've gone through uh, these polychromos uh, so the polychromos is on the second class the first class is where i cover prismacolor um, uh, pencils polychromos is on the second and my third class will be coming up uh, in the next couple of months which is going to be on the Karen Dash uh, Luminance. Hopefully I'll be getting them on my birthday. You never know. So <laughs> let's um, uh, let's wrap this one up. Thanks so much for your time. Do check out the links below. I'll leave a link to all these uh, coloured pencils and materials that I've used on this video and on my previous videos. Do check them out. Read the reviews. Buy them if you want. That's great. Um, uh, and also check out my colouring book range which I've just recently released. Um, um, it's going really well, the Fantastical Colouring Book series, so check that out. The links are in the description below. Keep colouring, keep safe and well in this rubbish time that we're all going through, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. So take care of yourself, and peace.